doing his thing. Hello. Hi. Rapping with the registrar. <laughs> season two. Oh wait, low net. Okay, connection <laughs> available. It is season two. Oh come on, come on, network connect connection. I thought I connected to Edge. It's probably searching for Edge Room. All right, we're gonna go with it. It is season two, episode three, episode four. I can't now. remember now. I don't we know. missed it last week. We <laughs> did. We did. It was a miscommunication. But I'm here right now. Um, and so people are still able to apply for graduation. Yes. If you did miss that February 15th deadline, um, don't worry. You do have until March 15th for uh, the late application, which is now $80, though. Um, so there's that little bit of an extra fee. But you do have until March 15th to apply. But what we're really talking about today is one of the most exciting times <laughs> of any graduate's life. It's going to the grad fair. Yes. The grad fair is next Wednesday, March 6th. Uh, and everyone should have received oh. an email earlier Ryan today Ryan Cortez about that. says Haley is a rock star. <laughs> um, I, this sounds horrible. He's our staff member. That's oh, that's right <laughs> <laughs> she is a rock star. She is a rock star. Um, so you sent her an email today. So yes. if you're if you're um, graduating, is it to everybody or just the people who've applied so far? How do well, you all of our it? summer graduates, all of our fall graduates, and then everyone who has applied for spring graduation um, got an email today about the grad fair. Um, there's also an RSVP. Uh, linked into that uh, email, so look for that RSVP. We just kind of want to get a rough estimate of how many are going to come to it, just so to make sure we have enough corn dogs um, and root beer. So it'd be great, yeah, if you could make sure to RSVP. Uh, I like how every episode you'd be sure to mention those corn dogs. <laughs> um, it's a, a daily goal of mine. It's not just for this. I talk about corn dogs a lot. They are delicious. <laughs> they are. And they're a nice way to give it an energy boost in the middle of the day. And root beer float or just some root beer? I believe it's root beer float. <gasps> yeah. And when is the grad fair? So yeah, next Wednesday, March 6th. Uh, 12 to 2 in the Wood Center Ballroom. So a week from tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk yes. about it next week's episode as yes. well. At the Grad Fair, it's a one-stop shop for all the stuff that you can do? You yeah, can... so the bookstore will be there. Uh, so if you haven't ordered your regalia yet, um, you can talk to the bookstore if you have any questions. Um, my office, the registrar's office, will be there. Uh, the graduate school will be there. Uh, career services will be there. So if you have any questions about, you know, say, since you're graduating, you might want to talk to someone about helping with your resume. Um, and then JR will be there taking headshots. So if you want to get a nice professional headshot done, so dress nice and do your hair and uh, show up. And yeah, and JR will be there and he always takes lovely pictures. Yeah, JR loves to make portraits of people. It's yeah. one of his favorite things to do. I don't think he's going to bring his big large format camera. He's got one of those that like you see yeah. in the old movies with the put the hood over and then take the picture with the big poof. <laughs> but no, I don't think he's No, that. not quite like that. And then be... we'll have um, a photo booth thing too. Uh, the Nano Bear will be there if you want to take pictures. With it is exciting. You're, you work day to day on um, graduation and commencement, but it is a really, really exciting time for students. It is. It's it, it's really you you've been working hard for this and it's really great seeing you know students finally finish and graduate and just that nice relief that you're finally done and uh, and commencement's always really fun because it's after like finals are done so you're done done by then at least with this phase you could be going on to get a master's or a you doctorate could, or yeah, anything you could, like that yeah you could be moving on you know for those that are our bachelors. Are there special students. things at the grad fair for graduate students who are moving on or is the, is the you said the grad school was going to be there? The grad school will be there so if you are a bachelor student and want to talk to the grad school about moving on uh, for your master's degree or PhD um, they will be there to answer any questions as well. Uh, you mentioned the regalia. If I have a friend who has regalia from last year or the year before can I borrow theirs to use or yeah, do you recommend I mean, getting fresh well, cap and gown every year? It's okay to, you know, it's just, you know, the black gown and the black cap. Um, you would want to get a new tassel, though, because that's going to have last year's number on it. Um, and, you know, make sure that it's steamed, you know, that it looks nice. You know, if they just bunched it up and threw it in their closet, I mean, definitely take it out before that uh, and make sure, you know, it has no wrinkles and you're not going to look too slobbish. <laughs> Are you allowed to walk if you don't wear a cap and gown or do you like... I don't think that's ever actually come up before, <laughs> but um, no, you need to be wearing a cap and gown. So. It, it feels great, too. There's yeah. just something about yeah. it. Yeah, and you have know. until April 1st uh, to order your cap and gown. Um, if you go to the commencement website, which is www.uaf.edu, slash commencement. Uh, there's a whole graduation checklist on there and um, I think like number two or three on it is to order your regalia and there's a link um, to the bookstore website. There or just stop order. by the grad fair next week? Or stop by the grad fair. They'll have computers set up there to order your regalia there too. Bim bam, get it done. Yeah. And uh, commencement is Star Wars Day, May 4th? Yes, May 4th. And so have your uh, relatives and your friends and all that start their travel plans now? Yes, and uh, that brings up too, if we have any... Um, 
of our students that are coming into Fairbanks from any of the rural communities, uh, please let us know and you know if there's any additional information that we can give you guys to help with your travel or uh, commencement information. You know, if there's any other information that we can give you, please let us know. There's lots of reasons to go to the grad fair just to get everything yes. sorted and settled. But I yeah. understand there also may be an extra reason this year. To yes, come we to will the be grad raffling fair. off. Um, there's going to be a few different door prizes. Uh, grad Images that takes pictures at commencement um, has a $50 photo package. The bookstore is going to be giving away um, a $50 gift card. And then um, we are donating a diploma frame. It's a nice one of the matted ones. I'm not taking the cover off right. of it. Right, no, no. But it says, you know, the University of Alaska Fairbanks on it. And it's a really nice frame. So that will also be one of the prizes that will be uh, raffled off. So that's a nice incentive to go yes. and be a part of the grad And corn dogs. Thing. And corn dogs. Yes. Hey, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Haley and Cord Dog is going to be great. Um, all right, so we'll talk again next week about this time. Yep. The um, Grad Fair Eve. Yes. Do you have special Grad Fair Eve traditions? Oh, no. I, I should put out the milk and cookies for the Grad Fairy that comes out. <laughs> and that sounds perfect. That sounds perfect. All right, thank you, Haley. Thanks.